So I am done with uh, my storage container. Uh, you can see it back here. Uh, these nozzles uh, I added to the project. I wanted some neat way for them to come out and uh, that works pretty well. Each one's printed in the color of the filament. Um, I didn't print one for this one down here because it's that uh, ABS that didn't really work too well. But it, uh, it works very well. It does not take much force at all for this to come out which was something I was concerned about. But the printer, actually, uh, just playing around with it, I figured out that the printer has uh, some teeth in here, some, I'm assuming, metal teeth that actually grip this very, very well. So there's no chance of this, uh, uh, you know, causing any problems like uh, being able to just, I cannot pull this out of the print head. It's impossible. Um, so yeah that works out pretty well uh so far i've had this about a, a week now and you know for the money it, it's not bad um my whole purpose of getting this is i want to get these uh for my classroom um or possibly start up a maker space at my school and the problem is is that most 3d printers you know are a thousand dollars or more um, I was looking at some of the maker bots, but uh, you know, to get the one that I wanted, it's going to be over two thousand dollars. This offered me a uh, an alternative to that, and you know, for the money, I think it's pretty good. Um, it's very easy to use. The software is very simple, very easy to use. Um, I'm a little bit of a power user, so there's times when I wish the software did a little bit more. But uh, you know, when you're talking about middle school age kids who may or may not have much computer experience, I think this is a, a pretty good option for schools. Um, I do wish, of course, that it printed something a little bit bigger, but, uh, you know, I can always buy a, a bigger one. So, uh, that's what I think so far. The only downside I found is, as of right now, uh, there's not much support for this printer. Um, you can email the company and they'll send you a reply usually within 24 hours, which is nice. Um, and it's not an automated email, it's an actual person talking to you. Um, so that's nice. But the forums, right now, the forums on their website are closed to the public. And even though I own this printer, I can't log into their forums. Uh, it's only for the people that bought these on Kickstarter. So they've been selling these on their website for, uh, I don't know, I guess two or three weeks now, but none of those people can actually go onto the forums if they're having trouble and uh, um, access them. Now they've said they're going to open it up to the public here uh, very quickly in the next maybe week or two, so I guess that's okay. Um, I've also, uh, one of the downsides to this uh, is most 3D printers have a media card reader on them. So you put your project on the media card, slide the media card in, and it prints it. You don't have to be tethered to a computer. This one, however, requires that you be connected uh, to your computer's USB. So if something happens to my computer, power loss, the computer just crashes, then I lose whatever I was working on. I have to start all the way over again, which is a downside. So what I've done is I got on eBay a few days ago, and I ordered a cheap uh, bare bone mini PC and I've got uh, a hard drive and some RAM to put in there uh, and that'll be in in a few days and the idea is that I'm going to, it's going to be a mini PC dedicated to mainly just uh, printing stuff off for this uh, I'm also going to hook a webcam up to it and I'm going to install Skype on there so that if I'm printing something off during the day while I'm at work, I can Skype in and look at the video and make sure everything's uh, going all right. The, um, it's kind of wobbling there. There we go. Um, may do some time-lapse stuff uh, with it. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on how I'm going to work all that out, but, you know, so far, I, I, I'm, I'm hopeful that... Uh, this will be a uh, good idea for my class.